Good evening, everyone. It's Ernie Live, and this is probably one of our favorite events every year. We are coming to you live from the Nutcracker Market preview party for the Houston Ballet. So we've got a great show in store for you. We're gonna show you some cool items. We're gonna meet some fun people, but also we want you to know you can win tickets to come to the Nutcracker Market just by commenting or asking questions right, right down there below. Remember to like us, hit that like button right there and become a fan of the Houston Public Media page. And with all of that said, start asking your questions, but I'm going to start the show with my very first guest. She happens to be a member of the Guild. She also happens to be the, the Madam of the Ornaments. How about that? <laughs> very good, yes. Yes. Cecilia Campbell is here. Hello, Hello. Cecilia. Hello. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming. So first of all, for people to understand, this seems like a huge shopping extravaganza, but there really is a meaning behind all of there this. There is. So it's our 38th annual Nutcracker Market. And the proceeds from this market benefit Houston Ballet Foundation and its academy and scholarship program. So in the course of those 38 years, we have donated over 63 million back 63 million? to the Houston Ballet Foundation. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm sure anyone who watched this last year is saying he got surprised last year at how much. Every year it shocks Every year, me. It's yeah. an amazing amount. And it comes into our community to help the ballet it does. do the work they do. It does. A little idea of where some of the money goes to. So it goes to scholarships for those that have the aspiration of becoming a professional ballerina, professional dancer. Each year we award almost 900000 in scholarships. It's hard for these children sometimes to pay for the, the, yeah. the uh, tuition at the academy. We also have a department that reaches out to our community. We go out to schools in, in the Houston area and we introduce dance to those children in those schools. We also have student matinees at $5 a ticket and they get to see the full production of the ballet. And thanks to the work you all do. Yeah. But now, enough of that right now. We gotta get some of the fun so stuff. Some of the fun stuff. So I called you the Madam of the Ornaments. Yes. The Ornament Bar is an amazing display of how many different ornaments? We have over 7,200 glass ornaments. And these are here for people to purchase. Yes. And of course, again, they help benefit the ballet. You've brought some of your favorites. I have. I and have. let's start traditional. Okay. Show me a nice traditional okay. ornament. So this is a traditional, of course, a nutcracker. This is <laughs> Christopher Radko, very much a collectible ornament. We have about 124 varieties of Christopher Radko. Wow. So this is probably one of our higher end ornaments that we sell beautiful colors made overseas in Poland and just absolutely gorgeous. I look at these and all I think is my cat knocking it off the tree and pushing no, it around the house. Well, you I don't know. want them to do that with this no, one. You don't, you don't. You and they're wonderful don't. keepsakes too. Yes, wonder can... wonderful gifts, wonderful yeah. keepsakes. Yes. Okay, so this is a an ultimate traditional one and perfect for the Nutcracker yes, market. Yes, it is. But then it gets a little crazy yes, over at your bar. Yes, then it does. Okay, so <laughs> back by popular demand from mm -hmm. last year, no one understood why oh we Lord. bought these. We have a toilet and a toilet plunger. <laughs> so everyone thought I was crazy when I bought these at market, and these sold out in one day. So it's a great white elephant gift. Do they gift. always buy them together? They tended to buy them together. Yeah. It's a great white elephant gift or a great gift to give to anybody who's a plumber, if you think about that. So anyway, sold out in a day. So you have them back again this so year? So we have them back again this Can't, year. You have to give the people what they want. Yes, we did. We okay, did. let's see what so, else. So <laughs> trying to top that from last year. As if you could. Wait, looked, hold off on those. I want to save that. Okay. I want to go to something. It's a pretty ornament okay. you have this year. So this year, what's new, a new ornament? You have to keep waiting to see the good. If you have any questions about the ornaments, the ornament <laughs> bar, ask them now while Cecilia is with me because we're going to move on to other folks. So, okay. Okay. So this is a beautiful new ornament this year, a gorgeous, gorgeous swordfish. So of the, those anglers that you've got in your uh, families, uh, this is just a gorgeous ornament to give. Absolutely beautiful. And glass again. Glass all again. Glass ornaments. So, you know, not for your cat. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's funny. You look at these and you think to yourself, you know, they're little pieces of art, but how do you display them? And once a year, we get to hang them on trees or around the home. Yes. And they're really beautiful. Yes, they are. And they show up just so beautifully on a Christmas tree. Okay. Who, who are the other little friends you have okay. in there? Okay. So, one of our, we're always amazed. One of our biggest categories is pets. People love their pets. We have over 500 pet ornaments. We have 26 breeds of dogs. We have 11 different types of cats, and we have nine different types of dog bones. So here's an example <laughs> okay. of our little Chrissy Glam cat for those I have that. A little puppy right here. And, you can and just one sample of a dog, and it's a Christmas. He's got his Christmas bow on, on does the, have his on little the bow. Back. So, yeah, so we have over 500 <laughs> pet ornaments. 
and we increase the number of breeds because every year somebody says, well, do you have the Havanese? And we're like, uh, yes, we do. Do you have a Maltese? No, we couldn't find those, but we'll look for them next year. So it's amazing to me. Would you pretty much say the best place to find an ornament that you're looking for, the glass variety, would be here at this bar? I think so. I think you've got quite I think a our, our goal is to have a person walk through that booth and see something that they never thought they would see and it would appeal to them and they would not walk out without buying an ornament. Oh, that's the perfect segue into the next, but I'm not gonna go because I wanna look at this little guy okay. a little bit more too. She is all dolled up and ready for she the is. holidays. I have she a couple is. cats, neither of which dress this, this, this well. elegantly. Wow. Well, <laughs> so maybe they would knock this one down. Maybe, maybe they'd maybe probably they scare the little puppy. Okay. Yes. okay, we have held you long enough to see the, I think one of the oddest ornaments okay. you have this year. So it was hard to top that Toilet, Toilet plunger. plunger. But this year we found fried chicken. <laughs> hot wings, drumsticks. I do enjoy a good hot wing. So we're anxious to see yes. how quickly we might sell these. <laughs> Who doesn't love fried chicken? What is the most popular ornament? It would have to be the dog category, quite really? honestly. Yes, it would be the dog category. We just we have a lot of traditional Christmas. We have Santas, we have nutcrackers, we have poinsettia ornaments, we have Christmas balls, reindeer. But then we have ornaments for anyone that you can think of, ornaments for little boys. We have dinosaurs, we have uh, construction, you know, like the Tonka trucks that the little boys had. We've got uh, lipstick and nail polish for girls. We've got purses for girls. And we have about every kind of food item have that you can think of. Okay, back at home, what's on your tree? So my tree has all class. I don't have a cat. And it probably <laughs> has close to 200 ornaments on it. A and a lot of them are... style or a Well, variety? I love the Christopher Radko, but no, it's a variety. And I have like a... Um, my husband's a big fisherman, so I have a fisherman section, and I've got fish and fishing poles and all of that. Before uh, we move on, I want to remind everybody out there, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts about the ornaments and you'd like to share them with us, now is the time before we wander off from sea. She's got to get back to her bar. Okay, Shannon, our trusty camera person has a question for us. Brooks Bradford wants to know, what, says, hi, Ernie. Hi, Brooks. And wants to know what the hours of the show are. What are the hours of the show? So the hours to, for general admission, it starts tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The same on Friday, 10 p.m. to 8, 10 a.m., I'm sorry, to 8 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can purchase an early bird ticket and you can come in an hour and a half before the general public. Mm -hmm and get a, a head start on shopping here at the Nutcracker Market. Well, I do want to let you know, Brooks, you have been entered into a drawing to win a pair of free tickets. Anybody who asks a question or makes a comment on this Facebook Live will be entered into the drawing, and before we finish today, we will ask you your questions. So, or we'll draw a winner out of there. So anyway, thank you so much for coming thank over, you. sharing all of this with us, and thank you for all the work you do. It's um, an amazing amount of money they bring in for the ballet. It is, and, and it's, it's fun. We, we love doing it. We and love, we love doing having it. it. Thank, thank you, you very much. so much. Thank Get you. those ornaments back. Okay. So remember, to everyone out there, we want you to know this is your opportunity to ask questions, make comments. Every time you do, there's somebody back there behind the scenes writing your names down, and we'll bring the bowl out in a little bit, and we'll draw for two pair of winners. Remember that this is all to benefit Houston Ballet's Nutcracker and all the education and outreach they do throughout the year. Here's your chance to help. We look forward to having you help. But, you know, you may be thinking, so what are we helping for? the Nutcracker. What is the Nutcracker? Why do we have the Nutcracker? Who brings the Nutcracker to life for us every year? The man that uh, needs no introduction, but I'll give him one anyway. Stanton Welch. Hello, Hello. Stanton. It's good nice to, see to see you, you. Merry again. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, Nutcracker, back upon you again. And back in the Wortham. And after, back in the Wortham. Yeah, I mean, in a week and a half, we finally get to go home, and uh, that's the most exciting thing. And you're starting your season with Nutcracker, with Nutcracker this year. Yep. There was a little, of course, a little delay in getting everything right when you needed yeah, it. Yeah, and, and so... we, we really wanted to make sure that when we went back, we went back fully, and so we shift, shifted our whole season after Christmas, so our first thing is... The Nutcracker. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I'm seeing what's lining up next to you. The do Nutcracker. these folks go everywhere with you? <laughs> they do. The <laughs> Hello, Sugar Plum, folks. the Frog, and the Prince. Well, it's good to see all... You know, I'm going to be lighting the Christmas tree with Sugar Plum <coughs> uh, the day before Thanksgiving good. at the Wortham. We get to light the tree again because you're back in the you're Wortham. Back in the Wortham. Okay, a couple things just so people know. Last year, you kind of went on a city tour. With we did. We went to Sugarland and we went to the Hobby Center. And what you were performing then was kind of a scaled-down version. 
yeah. of your show. So it was the steps were the same and the story was mostly the same, but we couldn't do a lot of the scenery or the special effects. So I modified it and we made it fit each theatre because two different theatres, different shows. But now we get to return to this and our real Nutcracker, which only is one year old, really. Right, and I have the privilege <laughs> of seeing it when you premiere. Yeah. And it is spectacular. And it's made for the Worthen. And it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> that house. And, and built into it. Like, yeah. it's physically outside of the auditorium. So did any of that get damaged during the flood? No, we actually, luckily, the stage uh, space which flooded, we had a little island where they moved Nutcracker onto. It was about this tall, and when we came in, the water had reached within a few inches of Nutcracker land, but not not into Nutcracker. Oh, thank God. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but you get to now remount it and get to share it with everyone again. We do, and going back into the Wortham, I think for all of us, will be much more emotional than we realize. I can feel the anticipation, but to come home after a year and a half of this has been hard. I want to remind everyone out there, if you have any questions or comments, Ask now, because we've got Stanton here, and we've got a few cast members. They're not Mike, so they can't talk to you. But anyway, Shannon, do we have any questions? <laughs> Travis says that's one rad pullover. Oh, thank you. And Travis. Ronald, Ronald says, wow, the characters look great. Great. They do. So these were all designed for this production. This is unique to this production. This is the Sugar Plum Tutu with Jacqueline Long, who's a soloist with Houston Bay. And we have the French Frog. And it's actually the Nutcracker. He just is minus his head right now. Um, <laughs> so if so, you've ever wondered what he looked like under that head, right. that's it for now. It's not quite the prince, but this we, is the real sugar plum. We were doing an episode. I'll put this down in the comments later if you want to come back and watch this on Facebook. We did a story. We did Arts Insight over at the ballet while you guys were building the new costumes. Right. And so we got to see these things before they were even... Yeah materialize so to speak and it's you know a ballet's age like wine and the more you get to do something so the fact that we have only done this nutcracker in the wortham 38 times oh my God. Uh, <laughs> it's not a lot it's not yeah. a lot this this coming season really will feel like we get to uh to own it and to come back home and to bring our, our audience back to where they see us all the time okay i assume you've had some rehearsals we've had lots of rehearsals when you're looking at it now after the first year and then the break, and then the slightly altered version. When you look at it now, are the things you're still adjusting, changing? Or for sure, for yeah. sure. So I had a whole list of things I wanted to do after the first year. Then Harvey delayed and changed that. And now we're, we're going back to what we needed to change. But, we, you know, we're always busy. We have the Jubilee, Margaret Elkeck Jubilee. Uh, we have an uh, all-female choreographic event this weekend, which Jacqueline uh -huh. is choreographing in. Uh, eight different ladies and, and people from out of state so we're always doing multiple things so remember if you have questions comments thoughts every time you ask if you're a new person your name will be entered into the drawing for a pair of tickets to come here to the nutcracker market this weekend shannon what do you have for us now kathy wants to know if there will be free tickets to the nutcracker at the wortham Will we do free tickets to Nutcracker at the Wortham? Not off of this program, but maybe we'll see what comes in the future. Keep <laughs> become a friend of the Houston Public Media page, and if we come up with something, you'll be the first to know. Okay, other questions. Are we good? We're going to come back to you folks. Tell me a little bit about why Nutcracker draws people in. What is it about this piece, do you think, that people so love? I think it's family and the wholesomeness of of. There's something I think I really wanted to, with this Nutcracker, start it and finish it with the family. I'm sorry, that frog keeps looking at me. He does, he <laughs> so looks everywhere. He's, be, he's become our Mickey Mouse of the Nutcracker <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a funny way. But those way. eyes, they're like looking at me. And it, oh, and now he's looking at you folks at home. But to I, have, sorry, no, cut no, you off. To have your mum and your dad and your brothers and your sisters, and there's, a, there's something so special about that time. It's truly really a family it tradition. It is a family tradition, and that... That's why the ballet starts and finishes like that, and I think that's why in America it's become such a tradition. And, and so also with this market, you know. This market is insane. Crazy. And they were just telling me how many millions of dollars they have raised through the yes, years to benefit. Yes, 63 million. Isn't that, it's crazy. Yeah. And it goes to help with education, it goes to help Every with scholarships. Every element, everything you see. Uh, Patsy Chapman and the Nutcracker Market, without them, I, we could not be the company that we are. We really, really? couldn't. So, folks, if you want to find a wonderful way to support the Houston Ballet... Come shop. <laughs> yeah, come shop. We know you like to do that. Shannon, what else do you have for me? Ronald wants to know who's, who's in the frog. Who is in the frog? Do we, do we announce or do we... Casey. Keep it a... Oh, it's Casey. What's your second name, Casey? Can you hear that? The mouth doesn't open it. It doesn't yeah. have a mic. 
It's just Casey, just like Casey. Cher. It's a one name. Cher person. is in the frog. No, but it's a, it's a frog. It's just Beyonce the frog. is in the frog. So come to the show and see Beyonce. I'm a little curious when Nutcracker started becoming this American tradition. Do you for you America? Know? Yeah. I mean, it's the been a long time. I mean, for uh, Houston Ballet, it was like way back in in the beginning of the company. The company turns 50 next year, and Nutcracker oh. was a part of that from the beginning. Oh. Um, and why it resonated so much in America, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Is it the same in Europe? Do the people it's get not. The same? Nutcracker, even in Australia, is a part of our normal season. So once every three years, it might fall in summer, it might fall in winter. It's just a ballet that you do. Um, really? But funnily enough, I think that Australia and Europe is changing and it's becoming a tradition because uh -huh. uh, it, it really does bring families together. And there aren't many things that do that anymore where well, you have to dress up, go out, eat together. See something, see something together, go home together. You're not all on your phones the whole time. <laughs> yeah, don't be on your phones when you're going yeah. to the ballet. Because you said this first show of the new season, what else do we have to look forward to this year? Well, we have the new Sylvia, which opens straight after that. That's a brand new production, um, and that, that's big and Greek and tragic and uh, like lady big warriors. Like Greek and tragic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of like what was the uh, Wonder Woman kind of uh, mm -hmm. feel. And then we have two great mixed rep programs. Uh, All Robbins Celebration, which is the man who made West Side Story. Mm -hmm. And then we have Marie Antoinette, Capalia, and Mary Widow to finish the season. So, so a great season. Great season, and all packed in six months. So yeah, a lot of, Well, you know what? I have to say, and I say this every time we deal with anything with ballet, it is amazing how much you people work. And I don't think people know the dedication, the three of you, and you two, but the three of you put toward your art with classes and rehearsals and training. It's just... And you see how much they dance in a day. Yeah. It just blows my mind. And yeah. yet they come out here and they're graceful and pretty and happy and they smile. And we, and we just came back from Dubai. We had a tour to Dubai with Swan Lake literally a week and a half ago. They were doing Swan Lake. Yeah. It's because we have a world-class ballet. We here. do. And it's thanks to you and it's <laughs> thanks to all of you. And of course, thanks to you. Last chance for questions before we move on. Remember, every question, comment, we're going to say thank you, Stan. Thank You've got you, a market you. to shop at and you <laughs> folks have to go be characters. I'll see you guys when I light the tree on the night. What is that? On the Wednesday, uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, whatever day that is, the 21st? Yeah, that sounds right. Someone over there is going, uh-huh, uh-huh. And thank you, Nutcracker. Thank you. Now, remember, we're taking your questions, comments, thoughts. I'm going to slip right around here for me right now. And so if you have a comment, a question, a thought, something you'd like to ask, please do so now. Remember, we're drawing two pairs of tickets to come to the Nutcracker market. But the only way to enter is to comment or ask a question. You can do it right below. Remember to always follow the Houston Public Media Facebook page. The one thing we like most when we do this every year is the shopping. But they have some of the coolest stuff in the world here. And we're gonna find out more about it. I got my gun. Wendy Burks is here with us. She Hi. is the chairwoman this year of the Nutcracker Market. Yes, the best place in the world. Did to you be. draw the short straw or the long straw I to have to do this drew job? The long straw. <laughs> It is quite an honor. You it guys is. do a lot of amazing work. We do. We've been talking about how much money you guys raise. We are an amazing group of people. We are. Yeah. And the Houston Ballet Guild. We're amazing. I want to remind everyone, too, that the Nutcracker will start the day at, now that's the ballet, the day after Thanksgiving on the 23rd, get my dates right, and it'll go through December 29th. That's a lot of performances. So to be ready for that, you want to get your shopping out of the way early. Got to get your shopping on. And so you folks are here through Sunday. We are here through Sunday at 5 o'clock. And so if you want to get a pair of free tickets, ask us a question right now. Make a comment. Talk about any of the items we're about to show you. Where do you want to begin? Wow. <laughs> wow. First of all, how do you pick who's here? How do we pick? We have a jury system. So not Wait. just anybody can be here. Oh, no. Oh, it no. is very hard to get into the Nutcracker Market. There are vendors that try for years before they get into the Nutcracker wow. Market. We are very picky. We are very choosy. We only get the creme de la creme, the best of the best. Okay. Where do we start? I want to start with the fudge. Oh. I'm going to swing around here and come over to it. I love fudge. Would you like a piece? What would you like? Mmm. Let's see. Whatever... Let's see, how about this, this one? one? Okay, yeah. whose fudge is this? What can you tell me about? You know, I don't really know whose fudge that is. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm gonna stand this from over here. How is it? It's delicious. I'm going I wish I knew fudge. whose fudge this was. If Do somebody we have can somebody tell here who can fudge tell us whose food this is? <laughs> We're in an island in the middle of a nutcracker market, and nobody can tell us whose fudge. But it's good. It's really good. 
Mm, we like really fudge. nice to know whose it is. Well, while we're finding out whose fudge we have here. Now, I can tell you, these tamales are Texas tamale. Mm. Texas tamale company. I know where these come from. Mm-hmm. Texas tamale company is fabulous. I'm a swing. They have I'm these over wonderful here. sauces. I mean, this is like, they sell them to you frozen. Take them home, stick it in the microwave, pour a little sauce on it. You've got dinner. I'm going to try one right here. They're See. fabulous. And I hope mine's not frozen. <laughs> no, yours, look, no, you can also buy them um, already cooked. Remember, if you have questions or comments so or want to know about anything, but we don't know where the fudge is from, no, we you don't. can ask right now. Mm, oh, this is good. I mean, Texas Tamale Company? Texas Tamale Company. Mm -mm. Okay. Moving right along. Talk to me a little bit about this guy. <laughs> what do we have here? This is a great product. Stick your wine in it and it makes it cold. I've heard about this. Then so, gloss. And they're out of that. Houston. And it, it chill you chill this and yes. when you put your wine in it and then you put your top on, it keeps right. your wine cool. Yes. And what's this guy? That's well, a it's a you know, this is great for Houston because it's always hot in Houston like today, So it's right? a cup? Yeah, it's a cup. And then it keeps, keeps your stuff keeps, cold? keeps your wine cold. See, I looked at it and thought or maybe your you water, put it... your water if you're one of those kind of people. One of those people. I don't have those many, those kind of friends, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you put a can of beer in it, but I think it might be a little too thin. Um, I don't know. You can pour the beer in it. Okay. How about that? You pour the beer in it. Talk to me about, what do we got here? A jug of what? We've got barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Now, let's see... Let's see. Is our barbecue sauce? I wish I knew where all this stuff was from. <laughs> well, while you're looking at that and looking there, that I want to tell you the one thing I know about that everyone always talks about is the marinara sauce. Yeah. That was, I knew that one. You knew that one? Okay, tell me that. about that one then. Donnie Diamante. This is this, the thing everyone goes crazy I mean, for. These ladies, these Italian the ladies, make this sauce from scratch. And they do these fabulous charities. They, they give all this money to charity. Uh -huh. I mean, this is the best sauce in the world. I've got two boys in college, mm. and they both take it to college with them. It's like you pack stuff to go off to college. you got to pack the sauce to go but with But I them. heard you can only get it here. You can only get it here. And you, guess what? This year, they're taking credit cards for the first oh, time. Wow. <laughs> I'm just this taking some big. of them up. It's fabulous. Mm. Good <laughs> stuff. And when Good it stuff. runs out... It's, it's gone, gone for the when year. It's gone. It's gone. It's they gone. say they want to sell out by Friday. So if you're really heart set on this, get here as quickly as you can for the market to get the sauce. Well, and if you want to get in quick to get it, you need to get an early bird shopping ticket for fifty dollars. Get you in at eight thirty in the morning on Thursday and Friday. That way you can get your sauce. That's the only way you're going to get it. And I'm going to be even worse if you ask a question or make a comment right now. You'll be entered into a drawing. We're going to do two pairs of tickets ah, to come to the market there you and go. the market's Thursday through Sunday you get to pick which day you want to use those tickets and uh, we'll be very happy to give you a pair of tickets okay before we get back into some more food because there's more things I want to eat there let's talk about one of my favorite things here oh that's Whoops. fun one for you oh one oh, for me where's my husband so I can shoot him there he is he's right over there oh uh, actually he's been these are guy. marshmallow bow and arrows oh Yay! she just shot him I got him I want my sister, you know. Oh, you're going to get your sister, too? I get my sister? Wow! Oh! <laughs> Who am I going to shoot? You know what? I'm going to shoot my camera person. Hold on a second. This is so ah. much fun. So much fun. I mean... There we go. I got two at once. I love when you can uh -oh, Veronica, shoot Veronica, I shoot somebody. her every year, so here we go. shoot Whoa. somebody and not get in trouble. All right. Can you get it in their mouth? Okay. Oh, oh wow. I'm going to try. Open uh, up. Open wide. That. Who's going to try? Ah. Uh, ah, we're, we're terrible at this. But if you get tired of playing with the marshmallow bow, oh, there's, oh yeah, <laughs> this is my favorite. First, you have to pump it up with a lot of good air, right? Yeah, that's fine. And then you this put the big one in it. The big boys. The big boy. The big boy. Ham. The big boy. <laughs> wow! Did you hear the noise from oh, that honey, thing? Honey, he's such a good sport. Isn't he? Know. Anything for the Houston Ballet. <laughs> you can keep that one. Okay, I've got it packed up again. Who should I shoot now? Oh, I 
don't know. Oh, right over here? There you go. I'm going to shoot it right at you All folks. Right, right at the camera. Go for it. Whoa. <laughs> the noise it makes is fun enough. You know, they also have them where they have you have targets. You can actually shoot at a target. Well, speaking of target practice, I'm already, or I should be loaded. I'm not uh, loaded yet, but I'm going to be. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Targets are good to have. They keep you from getting in trouble. Ernie, so you I can bet find, you stay in trouble a lot. Oh, I get in lots of trouble. You, you can find all, all of this stuff here at the market. Yes, yes. Do you know anything about this guy? Oh, yeah. This is one of our best sellers, the bow and arrows. This is one of our best sellers at the market. It's a nice, safe bow and arrow. It is great because it is for all ages. It is for children. <laughs> it is for adults. I am so sorry. It is for boys. I have one of girls. these. And tonight, my poor cat is going to be in trouble. Oh, Here we go. Where we go? Oh. I guess we have to shoot this way where it's empty. There you go. Because I don't want to shoot okay. anybody. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Here he comes. Watch Bar. out. Don't hit. Oh, Boom. There you go. Look. <laughs> Barely missed him. Hold on. Let's try another one. I love this stuff. See, the real reason I only do this show is so I can play with these toys. Oh, no, they're great toys. You guys come up See? with some cool stuff. I know. It's amazing. All right, Darwin. He doesn't look out. real happy watch about out. this. Oh, and he ah, caught it. they're shooting at us now. Oh, 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 oh. That's not fair. Yeah, those folks. Before we run out of time, though, some more cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Talk about these candles. Oh, illumination. Illumina Illumina Illuminidal. Illuminidal. Here I have okay. J.J. Watt. I love J.J. Watt. If you're going to have an idol, he's a good one to have. Uh, who's this? Oh, Jose. <laughs> I'll and do he's, that. he's recuperating from knee surgery. And someone who can't recuperate because she is a goddess in her own right, the Beyonce candle. Ah, uh, Beyonce. And if you have questions, comments, thoughts you want to ask, please do that right now. And my Shannon, my Shannon, do you have another question for us, Shannon? Uh, Brooks wants to know how many vendors are at the show. Ah, uh, 270 vendors. Wow, 270. It oh, is a cool. shopping mecca. 207, that's awesome. I mean, if you want to have fun, you need to come to the Nutcracker Market. There are if you so don't want to have fun, stay, stay home. home. Stay home, we don't want you. But want if you. you want to get free tickets, you know how you do uh, that? How do you do that? You just ask a question or make a comment right now. That's all you have to do? Is you ask don't have a to question? do that. You can just get in any time you want. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, I've got these guys. What, what are. Oh. Those are so much fun. Now, I heard that they can also hold the weight of an adult. Yes. But I doubt it's the weight of this adult. So I'll just pretend. But here they are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> they go far. Oh <laughs> I didn't know that they walked. No, they're great. <laughs> Those are awesome. Are you going to no. get on one or are you no. coming over to are get you, on one? Uh, no, I'm not going to get on one, but um, I, my my uh, college-age sons mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. to ride the horsey. No, I'm going to put my feet on the... No, because <laughs> you just want to take... Do it! There's a crowd of people here who are trying to humiliate your favorite PBS talk show host. So I'm going to leave my little horsey there. I'm not Do you know sure. where these horses yeah, come from? Okay. Well, we got people wandering up, chatting with our guests. Got more bows and arrows down here. Also, important things that we always like are educational toys or oh. toys where you can be creative. And right here, we've got a make your own ornament. Oh, yes. So you can leave it in here. Turn it on. Oh. This is, you know, a little something for everybody here at the Nutcracker Market. Okay, you start. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. And they also have them with eggs, too. So you can do an ornament or an egg. One of a kind. Whoops. Oops. I pressed them off. You must be Ernie, ready. you broke it. Are you one of those kids that always broke your toys so you could get new ones? So there you, you can go. Make you, you can decorate your own Isn't ornament. That fun? Yeah. And you can do it with eggs, you said? Yeah, they have, they have a, also a kit that comes with eggs in it. Oh, so then at Easter you can right. do those. So for the Two different nut kits. rabbit market? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're going to have a spring market, you know. Are you? Yes, we are in April. Breaking news. Breaking Tell me news. more. In April, we will be having a, our first spring market. Can we come back? Of course you can come Do back. Do you have to share that one, too? No, we're not. You know what? <laughs> Give me your I'm life done. back. I'm done. I'm done. They're retiring me. Ah, oh, well, before we retire anyone, if you have any more questions or comments, ask now so you can get into the drawing. I want to know one more thing. What do we have right here, these guys? It well, looks yummy. It looks really good. It looks like caramel popcorn. Mmm. Again, I'm not real sure. I think it's from, I'm not sure where it's from. <laughs> well, it's yummy. All right, we are going to check one more time for any questions, comments, thoughts, reactions. It is time to bring over the big bowl. Are you ready to help me with this? Of course. 
can't wait. Oh, wait, we got another question coming in. Ah. Hold on. And who is it from? And what's the question, Shannon? Allison says, I'm new to Houston. What is the Nutcracker Market? Well, go back and watch this from the beginning. No, the Nutcracker Market is a fundraiser done by the Houston Ballet Guild. Houston Ballet Foundation. Foundation, sorry. 11% Every dollar that's spent at the Nutcracker Market goes back to the Houston Ballet Foundation. And over the years, how much have you raised? Oh gosh, over the years, I'm not sure. But so last they said year, sixty-three million dollars. I'm not sure about that. But last year, we raised four point nine million dollars. Last year alone. Last year alone. It must have been the Ernie Live. Next question. Oh, I'm sure that's what it was, Ernie. I'm sure. I like that pause. Like, is he serious? Oh, he's joking. <laughs> Yes, Shannon. Kathy says, I've never been to the market. What items should I definitely not miss? You shouldn't oh. miss the marinara. I think you need to see the idols. What do you think they shouldn't miss? Oh, there's What's so many favorite? great things. I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. Paul Michael is awesome. You go all the way down to the right. He's got the biggest home decor shop here. Okay. Fabulous. If you're looking for jewelry items, just right here is Beyond Baroque. Basically, That's they've wonderful. got everything you could want. My everything. problem with the market is it's so big, it's hard to see it all. That's why you have to come more than one day. <laughs> okay. All of that said, you know what I do have to say, though? This is the second year we've done it. You are the second chairperson we've had. Both of you have been wonderful. You are just such... I, it must be a personality test before they let you have this job. Oh, absolutely. You have to be crazy. <laughs> Well, crazy lady, are you ready to help me? I am. I am. This is going to be for our first pair of tickets. It's two tickets. Any of the days of the market, you can come. You'll be able to pick. Put your name and your email address down in the comments below, and we'll reach out to you if we call your name. And we'll know because it'll be your name. Here we go. First one. Do I get a drum roll? Anything? Come on. All right. Here we go. Boom. And the winner is... Brooke. <laughs> Brooks Bradford Jr. Brooks, you got a pair of tickets to come to the Nutcracker Market. All right. We're thrilled to have you. Okay. Another next one? pair, our second pair before we let you go for the okay. year. Okay. Here, Here we, we go. go. And the winner is Kathy Tapperson Bradford. Kathy, are you with Brooks? Hmm. Do we need a ruling on that? Can we have two in the same? Yeah, sure. Two, one. Those are the drawing. There's some left. These are the ones we picked. So congratulations. Both of you will win a pair of free tickets. Come have fun. Come to the biggest shopping mecca in the world, the Nutcracker Market. And then hopefully we'll be back in the spring and see what you've got next. Well, I hope so. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank you all. Remember, us. if you like this, tag down below. Remember, Ernie Live comes to you usually from the opening of all the great events at the Hobby Center for their theater. So uh, we're there for those events, too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank Bye -bye. you.